So this is definitely a project that needs adult supervision. So make sure that if you are doing this with your child, you are helping them. The first thing that I did is, you know, I tried to remove all of the paper around the crayon. Um, some of them were really hard to remove. So what I did is add them to warm water, but you don't want to do that. The water doesn't need to be warm. That was actually one of my mistakes that I made. It didn't do nothing to the crayons. It just kind of melted them. Um, so you want to use cold water. You don't need warm water. I don't know why I thought that the water needed to be warm in order for you to remove the paper around the crayon. So what I did was just pat dry them. No biggie. I ended up getting these little containers or cupcake molds because that's all I really had in hand. And I just kind of broke them into little pieces to kind of give it that tie-dye effect. I did not mix the same color. I did mix them. As you can see, there's like purple, pink, you know, darker purples, lighter purples, bright pink, soft pinks. Same thing with the orange. I even added some red in the orange. Um, there you see the green, the blues. I, I believe I even added some gray into the blues. So this is a really, really fun project. And I feel like who doesn't have broken crayons in their homes? Like I was so scared, like how much to, you know, I was overthinking it before doing it and before doing my research online and watching a couple of videos, but it's so fun, so simple. And if you love crafty stuff, this is something that you can actually do or find cute little molds and then remelt the colors that you already have. So yeah, so what I did, which is something you don't have to do, I was just overthinking is I actually removed it um, as soon as I started seeing it melt because i was like i wonder if the middle is going to melt and of course it did i put it back in and it melted completely so what i just did is let it sit for three to four hours and then after that they literally popped right out i was just overthinking everything and thinking that you know it was gonna stick to the mold but nope as soon as it dried completely i just poked my finger through and they totally flipped over they're really great they're really thick i think they're super easy especially these that i made are great for like two to three year olds who don't really have um a lot of skills with crayons hence the fact that why i have so many broken crayons because my daughter is always breaking them so these are just perfect for her